what do you guys think of the Typhoon fighter jet? Gonky? Yes. So uh, they were trying to sell the Typhoon to the Malaysians. So they brought a whole squadron of them. And I, I was lucky enough to get uh, to hop in the seat. Um, they powered one up. I got up uh, up there and uh, this is a British squadron. I can't remember, but the guys were awesome. And uh, they were showing me around the cockpit. And, you know, the Typhoon, I'll say this about Typhoon. The thrust to weight is clearly stupendous. Uh, yeah. My office was halfway down an 8,000 foot runway. And those guys would be at like 12,000 feet before the halfway point yeah. of the runway going straight up. Um, but I will say, uh, the cockpit design is a little wonky. Uh, you can get lost. I can see how you get lost in the sauce in that thing. The, uh, so like the yeah. upfront control panel is kind of off to the side, which really? is weird. It yeah, has it right here. No. Um, it, uh, and the guys even told me, they said that, uh, because so many countries, uh, were involved in building it, designing it, there's Sounds still familiar. issues with you know, it all coming together as one fighter jet. Um, mm. Now this was you know, almost 10 years ago, but you know, they were, they were told me like, Oh, there's a, this is an example of like, Oh yeah. If the uh, left pedo tube goes out, you got to eject. You're like, what? <laughs> like there's oh, a couple boy. single point failures on that airplane. Um, yeah. I then, you know, to return the favor, I took them, showed them the Hornet and they were big fans. So uh, I think it's a, performance wise phenomenal uh but oh, yeah. ergonomics was a little a little odd yeah. yeah no it sounds like a great great air i'd fly it like when people ask me it. what do you think i'm like i'd love to fly it oh i'd love to fly it. it it hurt it yeah. hurt you <laughs> yeah let's do it I'll, I'll fly one right now you got one 